This is my video reply to Navy Thomas with his dual digital thermometers. I do it more the old school way. As you can see there, it's approximately 38 degrees, we'll call it. This is a dry test run. I do it old school way, mercury thermometer, I'll, although now they're not mercury thermometers anymore. I don't know if you can even buy them. This is an alcohol thermometer, but same idea. Stick it outside, let it sit for a few minutes. Basically, I keep it hung up ah, right there, so I find it anytime I want. What I could also do, too, if I was going to split the ride up into a couple of parts, I just throw it in one of the back saddle bags, and I've got it with me all the time. I just like things simple and easy. I'm not really into the digital or the technology, but that's another alternative way to do it. It's uh, time for me to put on my stuff, and I will turn the video back on in a minute. Starting mileage is 39526.4, 39526.4, see if that shows up. And I would suggest that uh, along with the odometer, when you do the temperature reading, you also say it besides show it, anything to make it easier. And avoid misunderstanding is always better. As far as thermometers, if uh, anyone is in need of one, and it'll be, I mean, not just that you uh, haven't got one, but if you're for example, like uh, the first year we had a college student that was using a motorcycle to get back and forth to school and uh, just was so broke, didn't have the $7 for a thermometer to participate, I sent him one. So if you're truly in financial need and that's all that's stopping you from participating in the PBC, let me know. I'm not going to cover 20 or 30, but if... Uh, that's all that's keeping one or two people from participating. I'll see what I can do and get one out to you. Let me also warn you again, like we found out last year, do not use the infrared laser type of thermometers. They do not take air temperature. They take temperature of objects and even that is uh, prone to be inaccurate if you don't use it right. So be sure and use a digital or a alcohol mercury ambient air temperature thermometer and no uh, going on the weather channel on your iPod phone and displaying the temperature the, who knows what uh, area that could possibly be my weather reporting station is more than 20 miles from me and the temperatures can vary enormously so that's not necessarily reflecting the air temperature I have by where I live first issue I would like to touch on is safety. Hopefully that ain't slick. Okay. There's probably still a little bit of ice on the road, possibly. You are responsible for your own level of safety on this, and I encourage everybody, use good judgment and don't ride beyond what you feel comfortable with. If you're attempting this for the first time, do what I did the first year. I actually went out and checked the roads, made sure they were nice and dry and clear before I even considered doing a ride. And there's no real reason to be unsafe. The uh, minimum entry level is three videos, three minutes in length. And I think no matter what climate you live in, in North America or Europe, you should be able to find three days during the 11 weeks we do this, surely you can find three days where the roads are totally dry and yet the temperature still is below freezing. And I would also like to uh, let you know that once the Polar Bear Challenge starts on December 1st, please limit the videos you are posting. We're going to get 
swamp with videos at least for one or two periods of time please make the videos if they're not an official PBC at least something to do with cold weather skills cold weather riding or something promoting the PBC and uh, don't use the site itself to uh, just post ordinary vlogs and stuff like that this is just an event site it's not a, a YouTube or a general vlogging site uh, feel free if you want to post anything that's uh, maybe not related use the blogs you can do embeds in the blogs. so if you have something else you would like to share that's not of a direct PBC nature or cold weather writing nature just use the blog section and do an embed anything we can do to make the videos that the judge has to deal with uh, flow smoothly so I'm going to my village hall right now hopefully the guy that's in the planning commission I just have a question to ask him about a type of permit Ending mileage, 39528.2, 39528.2.